guys we finally did it we fixed exoro gear set which now can give us unlimited amount of fire turret baby we can get extra turret after it will basically destroy itself without any punishment without any cooldown whatsoever so it means you can keep your enemies in barbecue chicken mode non-stop not only that you're gonna heal yourself like crazy this setup is something else and it will work for heroic missions for legendary strongholds absolutely welcome to the insanity uncle butcher in the building if you're new here hit that like smash that sub i'm covering division 2 basically daily other looter shooters and rpgs as well so if you want to be updated to all the best pvp pv builds hit that sub baby in this one though we are using new exoro or this exoro gear set which we got quite recently and the main thing is that it will allow our fire turret to spin spinorama will be pretty much crazy out of hands but unfortunately when your turret will die even though you could have all maximum possible six skill tiers turret will have like freaking 45 50 second cooldown but we fixed that we fixed this issue but before we continue, quick word from the sponsor Deeming.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deeming.net is set for you. They have absolute amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. If you will use my promo code RBD or RBD, you will receive 15% discount on absolutely all service amazing deal especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on so definitely check these guys out but now let's get back to my new status effect build i guess because honestly we're gonna apply multiple status effects and you're gonna stop enemies you're gonna destroy enemies you have some weapon damage and the reason is quite simple because we are using glass cannon talent glass cannon talent will amplify weapon skill damage status effect damage all debuffs in the game as well such as plage effect for example and wild mask so yeah this this is really really dope built and i'm not using wild mask i need to use bt Sue exotic gloves i tested every goddamn overcharge or way how to gain overcharge and only thing that will give us to us back basically instantly is btc gloves no acosta backpack no future perfection talent no energized talent nope btc exotic gloves is the cherry on top of the cake in this setup to clap those booty cheeks ah yes I found the solution to this uh, issue for specialization though we will use firewall specialization not only we will gain uh, flamethrower as our specialization weapon but also we will increase burning duration on so our enemies will burn much longer and guys how to work with your fire turret is really simple apply burn effect to your enemies and stop your turret don't waste the fuel or the power of your turret stop it just like that Boom! When enemy is closing to you, apply fire. And then again, stop it. Apply fire to enemies because if when enemies are on fire, you are not dealing any damage whatsoever anymore with your turret. So there is no reason whatsoever to keep it uh, active. So this is how you should play with it. Stop and go, stop and go, stop and go type of gameplay. And in that way, your turret can last 30 40 seconds easily for the weapons though test subject with perfect and sync to boost our weapon and skill damage as far as possible for second weapon i'm using scorpio shotgun one of the best weapons in the game for crowd controller purposes and it kicks extremely hard although if you want you could use technically capacitor exotic assault rifle to gain 7.5 percent extra weapon damage with each skill tier 60 percent additional skill damage with full stacks capacitor is not a bad option but test subject is like weaker brother but you don't have to stack anything one bullet will give you 40 percent damage 
weapon damage and 40% skill damage. For the pistol though, you can use TDI name it pistol or any other pistol with preservation talent because preservation talent will work with skill kills. You don't need in sync. Future perfection will not give us our turret back instantly, unfortunately. So use preservation on one of your weapons. I would recommend you to use it on your pistol. It's really, really easily uh, obtainable. Basically, you can craft any yellow pistol and throw on that bad boy preservation talent. You could use the mob shotgun name, a shotgun with preservation talent as well. Uh, if you want a little bit more uh, armor again, but I think it's enough, baby. This build absolutely is nasty and is fun to use. Just like that, I procced my BT2 gloves, I got overcharged, and I got my fire turret back. So you can get turrets back to back. And trust me, most of the time, with one turret, you should be fine to get th through one room to another room. And if there is like long distances where you need to run, I would recommend you not to proc your BT2 gloves, but wait for that moment when you are in fight and you run out of fire and you need that extra kick, then break your stinger hive and you will get your uh, second turret. This works extremely well on heroic control points against rogue agents. Again, you have multiple status effects, you are dealing uh, tons of DPS. Really, really good build. So, for the gear itself, I'm using four pieces from Exoro gear set or this Exoro gear set with status effect attributes everywhere. Then I'm using Wyvern chest piece with glass cannon talent to boost my DPS as far as possible. Maybe you could use perfect glass cannon, but I think Wyvern will give us additional skill damage. It will be fine. Uh, for the backpack, I'm using Exoro backpack. I tried Acosta backpack as well. Didn't gave me anything. I thought that if I will throw my grenade, I have additional status effect damage as well skill haste on these uh, on the dead backpack nothing yes i got overcharged but i couldn't get my uh, to run back and only way which worked for me really was bt2 exotic gloves and bt2 exotic gloves will boost your teammate skills as well so you will be really dope in solo and in team runs so this is absolutely magical stuff I would recommend you to try this combination with BT2 Exotic Gloves because like I said, you can get now back to back turrets and that's more than enough to take care of any type of the room. If there will be Changa, you have Stinger Hive and your Scorpio Shotgun. If there will be elite enemies, you have Fire and again test subject to boost skill damage. So I mean perfect combination of skills talent synergies and gear and weapon and uh, uh, specialization to annihilate every goddamn room. Butcher drops the mic, stay safe, bye.